Hey, what's up guys? So today is gonna be a review of actually, uh, or I should say, well, review of uh, CM 10.1, Sajin Mod 10.1 um, on Samsung Galaxy S, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. And this is actually um, GT, GTP 3113. And uh, this device has been rooted. Um, I was gonna do a review of actually a stock uh, Android 4.0.4 but then um, since I already rooted I was playing around and rooted and uh, you know it works perfectly fine so I was like let me just go ahead and do a review of that because um, uh, there was so many bloatware on uh, the stock so I didn't like that okay so let's get started this is a power button so I'm just going to turn it on I just wanted to say guys there's just so much glare right now as you can see so much reflection uh, just because of um, I'm actually outside and it's gonna be on this side and also I don't have any kind of uh, screen protector or anything on it just got this device uh, last Friday so um, you know fairly new as you can see I haven't even removed the plastic yet and as you can see, it's uh, nice and quick actually. So that's uh, that's always a nice thing to see. I have I don't have any kind of lock on it right now. So as you can see, if I just turn it on, it would be like back on. Okay. So let me let me put a lock on this, and then I'll let you guys see what exactly. Alright, so this is going to be like a stock one now, well, stock 4.2, right there. And as you can see, I can move to unlock anywhere on the screen. And if I don't do that, if I turn it off, it got this, um, you know, side widgets and stuff like that, that I can actually add more and scroll around and all this kind of stuff. So, that's that. Now the screen that you just saw which is if you go if I go in settings it would ask me for this password actually uh, what happened is I actually download um, this app called um, app lock <laughs> and uh, this actually this device is for my brother and uh, he's uh, you know 12 years old uh, I rooted this device and I have a Facebook and Twitter and all this kind of stuff also on this because I'll be using this half of the time as well so what I did is just kind of lock the, the apps that I don't want him to access. For example, I mean settings. I don't want him to go in settings and change some st uh, settings to some stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Um, also, I didn't want to go let him go in like a super user or, um, you know, Android terminal or anything like that. You know, that's kind of um, high-end stuff and I don't want him to mess around with that. So... He can do all the basic stuff except, you know, I can lock some apps, which is um, always a nice thing to do. And if you guys, again, um, some of you guys might want to do this. Let me unlock this. Okay. This is your um, app lock. And as you can see, all these apps are being locked that I don't want him to access and I'm just gonna add one more which is the ad free so you know he can access all those ads but um, you might you guys might wanna use this if you're using it as a second device I know I know uh, the 4.2 allows you to have uh, two accounts I think I haven't played around much I just rooted last night so you know these are some uh, apps and stuff like that that I actually installed um, so let's go and uh, it's uh, let me show you a settings here and it is going to be a little bit annoying while I go in settings but uh, should do a justice here if I go in about tablet and I don't know if you can see yeah because like I said too much glare on actually this is uh, the screen is magnet fingerprints magnet and uh, too much glare as well so it is Android 4.2 as you can see, and it says the model number is GTP3110. Actually, um, the, 
the CM 10.1 that I install on here it says it would go with both devices uh, GT GTP 3110 and GTP uh, 3113 so this is GTP 3113 US and um, download this uh, CM and give me model number of P3110 which doesn't make any difference to me personally I mean there is not much difference so let's get, unbox that and um, and yeah so this is basically your basic stuff um, which is I mean it's more like um, it is like a 4.1 it is like ice cream sandwich and then you got this uh, you know project butter going on at the 4.1 and then they add some new stuff to this one which is always a nice thing to do nice touch actually so as you can see I can do the same thing as ICS or anything like that and uh, you know kind of scroll around and stuff like that so um, pretty much same thing again uh, instead of the bottom menu bar which is in stock uh, ICS I mean I meant to say the Samsung UI overlay uh, this is your drop down menu which you can access all the good stuff uh, notifications actually and you know how they add the second one on the second right here which lets you access your uh, settings and Wi-Fi and rotate and battery and all this good stuff as well and I'm gonna show you on portrait actually right there and this is right here um, we do have a Google Nav as well built in because again it's a uh, Android 4.2 uh, so yeah uh, that didn't kind of get it there but let me let me see what's the weather today all right now Google what's the weather like today Okay, it says go to for some reason. It did work, believe me, last night. So, what's the weather like today? Today's forecast for Staunton is 48 degrees and mostly sunny. All right, there you go. So, you know, uh, it works. Google now, I use it as well. Uh, everything seems to work except one part. I'm going to show you that as well, actually. Um, HD videos and all the good stuff but if you go in settings which I don't seems like it's too much a bottleneck actually anyways uh, if you go in display now it says you know settings has been stopped so that's gotta be some kind of bug right there but um, other than that um, I'm just kinda unlocking this device anyways um, other than that, uh, I can access all of the settings and all of the menus, including performance and, um, you know, date, time, profiles, backup, uh, you name it. I mean, pretty much everything is working as far as uh, using it for about, um, I'd say about six, seven hours now. So, it's working perfectly fine on this. Uh, yeah, another new feature would be your camera you got panoramic view and you got all the good stuff let's switch the camera and you know how to switch the camera on the 4.2 which you go here and then you know you, you can access all of the settings so let's switch to back camera right there okay and I don't think it's gonna do any kind of justice here anyways but if you open this up you got all the settings right there Just take some. Okay, there you go. U.S. flag. Let's take the picture of that. Yeah. So now you can kind of go back right there, as you can see. That's a um, Honda Civic and 
you can see you can scroll back and go to camera app and all that good stuff I mean camera works perfectly fine I don't see any problem with there I mean picture quality I don't really I don't know I don't care about taking a picture in public as you see most people with the iPad just just take a picture on public it's like this so it's always saying it's like stupidest thing to do if you do that sorry about that but I mean cell phone I understand tablet I don't know that is more like yeah the camera is good but why do you have to take it with the tablet it's it looks so much stupid than anything else so anyways uh, you can access all of the apps and all the good stuff here if I go in uh, my downloads installed apps the best thing about this is you don't get any kind of bloatware period I mean if you wanna have uh, Netflix yeah go ahead and download it but do I need it? Am I gonna use it? No. Then I don't need it, basically. Why are you using so much of my space here on tablet, you know? So, uh, like I said, everything works. I was using a Jelly Bean 4.2 keyboard with the stock, uh, well, uh, Samsung UI um, version of the Android. And, you know, I have to use all the keyboards and then this and that and all those kind of stuff. Now, I don't. It's nice it's quick you got two kind of keyboards going on here uh, one that actually provided by this keyboard which has the numbers on top which if you hold it it would give you that number right uh, that would provide it by CM people right there so thanks to them actually and if you want to go into their set uh, go into keyboard setting now what you can do if you're like typing somewhere and if the keyboard pops up you just go into notifications uh, choose the input method, uh, method sorry, and um, go to um, Android keyboard, US, and that's your uh, stock 4.2 keyboard right there with uh, swipe, swipe capability. So that is available right there. Um, I do prefer the the CM version of it because. Uh, I always like this keyboard than the stock one just because every time if I have to type some numbers just only one number I have to go back type in one number go back all this kind of stuff instead I was just writing this is number one and right there okay so that's always a, it seems like it's always easier to do that way than um, you know going through that number and then punching in numbers I mean if you do want to do like a zip code or something five numbers you do want to go here and just type it in the number which is much easier in that case so so this is uh, better actually much better and I believe I haven't tried this on this because I don't use uh, the swipe much so let's see if it does do a swipe oh yeah so it does do a swipe so I mean you got almost like a tree keyboard kind of combo in one um, CM so uh, that's a nice touch um, so if you guys want to see more about this uh, ROM actually uh, CM just let me know and I'll try to keep you updated on this um, I don't know if I should go ahead and do that uh, do uh, how to do a root on this um, the first thing I'm gonna say just get the uh, uh, ROM manager working here and it should work everything fine. Alright, so see you guys later. Peace.